Hi everyone, it's Holly and I am the maker here at Missouri River Soap. In this video today, I'm making Brevet Unscented Soap. Now, when I was filming the pack and chat for the rainbow release, I was telling the story about, you know, my coffee and the baristas at Copper Mountain Coffee, etc. And it was just like, light bulb. I thought, why don't I make a Brevet soap? I love unscented soap. So this is pretty much my crema cacao recipe. I've done an interesting double pour, so I'm super excited to see what, I have to hide my face, super excited to see what it looks like cut. I just love an unscented soap, and I love coffee unscented soaps, and I haven't made one in a while. So for this batch, I did use some Copper Mountain coffee that I have, just my absolute favorite coffee place in the Kalispell, to Polson area. I know they're based out of like Libby and they're all over in this general area. And then I also use some coffee seed oil from Brambleberry. This is one of my favorite products. And the soap does end up smelling a little bit like coffee. It's not super strong, but it's there and I love it. Now it may cure out a little bit. I'm not going to promote it as a coffee smelling soap, but the potential is there and right now it does smell really good. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to make in this video and cut. You can find my products at moriversoap.com. You can find me on Instagram at moriversoap and on Facebook as Missouri River Soap. Now the timing of this video doesn't necessarily have anything to do when this product is going to be listed, so make sure you check out the website, follow along on social media, and sign up for our email on the website so that you stay up to date. All right, so let's get started. Let's make this soap, and then I will be back around to cut it. I'm going to do the cream batch first and that way it can just kind of set to the side i don't remember the deal with the coffee it could move just a little bit faster so in with the cream and we're going to go ahead and give that a blend i'm going to add in the light solution and this is going to be a bit of a full container. Yikes. And I just want to bring this to trace. I think I'm going to call that good because this is a strong stick blender and this is a, whoops, a fairly small container. So look at this. It's a little full. Make it a little bit of a mess here. I normally only do a 60 ounce oil batch in one of these and this is 70 today. So I overdid it just a smidgen. I do need to still put in my coffee seed oil and I'm just gonna pour it carefully. I don't want to have any of this stuck to the side of the container or anything and having to scrape, scrape, scrape. This is precious precious oil so I'm just going to be very careful and I'm going to put in just it's not a lot for this but I want to save most of it for when I go to make scrubs all right so we have the coffee seed oil in and I do consider that part of my oils and figure it in the lie calculator and now we're going to add in the half and half Now the half and half and the coffee do come out of the water portion, so that is reduced to accommodate all of this delightfulness. So now in with the coffee. Oh, so nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get that blended in. I am going to strain my lye solution because it is very, very reduced and so it is thick and it's got some lilac in there. 
and we're just going to get that out. It doesn't end up being a lot, but we're just going to make sure those pieces don't go in. And then we're going to mix this up. Oh, did you see that color change? That is the lye reacting with the coffee. Now one thing when working with coffee is that it does make quite the smell when it mixes with the lye and that's all right. It's not a big deal. It does fade away. Look at that color. Isn't that great? It hasn't been very long, but this one is starting to get thick. Just basically the perfect pour stage. Let's see what this is looking like. Yeah, we're starting to come to a trace. So let's go ahead and get this stick blender out of here. Mm, this is going to be just perfect for what I'm doing. So we're gonna bring this mold in. Oh yes, this coffee is getting a little bit thicker than the other has, so I'm glad I've, I did that second. I do want to pour them together. I don't know if I can do that though while it's so full, but we'll try this. I'm a little different heavy handed on one side compared to the other. I'm gonna switch. Let's get a swerve. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Let's stir and flip. This one's almost got. I'm definitely heavier handed on my right hand. So let's, I'll just kind of keep on with the heavier hand to kind of match out. Now we'll have to see what kind of a coffee scent we have. I do find that I get coffee scent when I use coffee and I use the um, coffee oil. It's not a lot, but it is definitely something. This uh, creamy one is still a little bit looser than the coffee one was. So I'm just gonna kind of give us a little bit of, of a swirl, a mix up here on the top. The splatter looks nice, but that wasn't the look I was going for. It kind of made me think of a dessert. That's not what I was planning on. I think I'll just give it a kind of a smoosh back and forth. Didn't really want a swirly swirly. Now let me see here, is that fairly even? I think so, but I'm just gonna smack it down. Okay, so I think I'll go with that. I really like how that looks. And it's gonna be so fun to see the inside. Now this, uh, the yellowness of it should tone down a little bit, so that will also be fun to see. So what I'm gonna do is set this aside. I'm going to spritz it with 
91, I think, percent alcohol. I'm going to cover it up and then it needs to sit and solidify and saponify before I can come back and cut it. So that'll be probably, and knowing me, probably be two to three days before I get to it. All right, so let's cut this Breve soap and I'm very excited to see how it turned out with that pour. That was such a fun one to do. And it smells very nice. It's just a light kind of milky coffee fragrance. Scent that it's putting off. Obviously there's no fragrance in it, but it is putting off a little bit of a coffee scent. But ultimately it'll be mostly just a, you know, kind of just a, a plain soapy unscented smell with just that coffee on the background. And coffee soaps always have this fun discoloration. And so when I cut into the loaves, I had this lighter color, but then it's going to darken to that color. Isn't that neat? So that really works out nicely. So let's, I am loving how these turned out. This one looks like it got a bit warm. My crema cacao base soaps do tend to get a little bit warmer. And I can tell that because it's kind of a glycerin, glycerin river, but kind of not. There's just some kind of like lines that go through the bars. And that is just, that's just the heat. That's just what the heat does. So. I, and so you can see how this end is, the air has kind of seeped into it. So it's looking mostly changed already. These bars are so pretty. I love that pour. I don't know why I don't do a pour like that more often. So then I wanted to show you the top. I think the tops turned out great. They're a little shiny in places from where the alcohol has kind of, it's, it's not really wet, but it kind of is like a little bit pulled. I mean, like I rub my finger on it, does it go away? It's just mostly, it's just mostly shiny at this point. Look at this side, isn't that so pretty? That is gorgeous. I'm very excited about this batch. I am a big fan of unscented soaps. As much as we love scents, and I love to make scents, sometimes our bodies just our skin just needs a reset, needs to not be bothered by fragrances or essential oils. It just needs to have something simple and plain. And so that's what I like. Of course, this is uh, kind of far from plain at this point, but it's beautiful. I love this. This is probably going to be my favorite out of all the soaps I've made recently. So I'm beveling and planing again, so I probably don't really need to clean this off, but it's just one little step that takes away from some extra work later. So, oh my, you poor cutter. So this has turned out super duper I love it. It will be fun to take pictures of it when it fully changes its color. And it turned out exactly as I'd hoped. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this soap. It's going to go on the curing rack now for four plus weeks. So stay tuned to my website, moriversoap.com, my social media. There's all the links you need down below. And especially sign up for the emails because I think that's going to be your ticket for knowing um, for sure what's coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.